GoPro broke. Latch broke on here. Our GoPro broke? Yeah, my GoPro broke. My, my housing broke. I got some tape I could put on there. Oh, yeah. Cheap, cheap to fix, but right now I just can't keep it closed. She's tape? Oh, here she is. Let's see. I got some. What do you want me to say? Just tell me that today's gonna be a good day. Today's gonna be a good day. I'm excited. I think we're gonna, you know, first day yesterday we got the kinks out. I think we're in better shape. We're working pretty good as a team now, I think. Got the hand signals down. And um, I think today's gonna be good. Hopefully, we'll see. I don't know, we're gonna try some new charted territory that I've never been in my life, so. Either it could be really good or really horrible. But either way, we're gonna we'll be there. We're gonna be there. Yeah, we're gonna be there. Either way, we'll be there. I don't know why. I've got a good covering. It's mixed up. Lips are big. People don't understand that, but lips are bright. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta dole them down. <laughs> We're gonna go kill a bull. Nothing. 
then he bugles again another 300 yards away. He's got that bull has cows, and he's just following his cows to their beds. And a lot of times those bulls won't ant, that they'll keep a safe distance. It could be 100, it could be 200, 300 yards. He won't call back until he gets to that safe distance that he feels is correct for him. So we're gonna drop down here on a super steep side hill. We're all out of water, so we're gonna drop down, grab some water, sit down, and just listen, see if we can hear him and pinpoint him. This looks steep. It's steep. That looked like a wet dog. Whoa. That's a wet dog. Hey everyone. Your lips are still black. We're still here. We're still alive. I think we're still all dear friends. It's been tough guys. Super slow. It's warm. It's been warm so. It's warm, it's full moon. Take that for whatever you want, but my opinion is this time of year, if you can get close to elk making elk noises, they're gonna respond most of the time. So we just haven't hit the pocket with a bunch of elk in it yet, but we came to this lake, pretty cool. Trent uh, wants to see if there's any fish in it, so he's bringing out his telescopic rod to cast the plant, Panther Martin out there. Okay, so why are you getting naked? Because <sighs> Trent's too big of a wimp. Good word. I'm gonna go catch a hog daddy. All right, we'll get your rod. Okay, let's oh. see. It. <laughs> well, no, grab it. Get your rod. Okay, let's see it. Don't be so nervous. Don't spook everything in the country. It's going down. Film it. Yeah. So I got. I've done this before, and uh, in this very spot, but I was way out in the middle. There's a couple of big, big fish right here, but they're tangled in by weeds there's this trough and they've got weeds on right and left watch you might want to watch this because i got a strange feeling it's not going to work out. oh did they just swim off most likely they're coming Does anyone still see them? they're coming at you oh you had weeds dude exactly put my crocs on man you're gonna kill your feet. I think I'm just gonna lose them. No, you won't. Put them in four wheel. We are now fishing. Folks at home, Trent has discovered the land of the giant brook trout. We've got an isolated mountain lake here, a um, bunch of grass. I'm gonna attempt to catch one of these giants. It's sitting, sitting out here in this little trough. So they've been trying the little rooster tail deal. It's not working. I think it's gonna be a fly game. So I've got me a little hopper. We've seen a couple of them come up to the surface. So hopefully they'll they'll munch this thing. Oh yeah! You All jacked on. him pretty hard. That's deep. He might be off. No, he's on. That's oh, relocator man. there. Little guy. When you go to back cast and there's a fish on there and you just relocate him behind you. <laughs> That's a real thing. It's a real thing. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that one. JT, I told these guys, it's because you never give up, man. <laughs> That's, That's what we're one, looking man. for. Right there. Old Panther Martin. PM. He's starting to get that lip. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. I yeah, see how it's hooking? Like look that. at those teeth. Yeah. Slap the sides off of them. Dinner, I think. Dinner. I think dinner? No, he's off a pretty one. That's what I'm going with. What's that called? Prince Nymph. Prince Nymph. And it's a sinker. So you gotta land it right on him. So if I get it in there and just drop that, drop mm -hmm. that hammer. Hell Mary. Should I, should I strip though? Yeah, I think you can grab bottom. I don't know. Try it. Follow your heart. Uh, my heart is full of love right now for what this fly. You, what knot are you going with there? Uh, every single knot. It's called a fisherman's knot, so it's kind of a universal all around. I it. like it. It's a good knot. Don't show. Looks awful sturdy. I don't. I don't think <laughs> Rackley. Rackley may tie something else. I'm gonna. Be oh, honest. dude, that's a that's a fly fisherman's favorite knot right there. Mm-hmm.
Nobody saw that, did they? No. <laughs> Fire in the hole. It's not very big. The guy could flat play the game, huh? <laughs> no. It's not the Giants that I was hoping for, but wow, look at that fat sucker. Look how fat he is. A pretty one. Run free. Well, another day, guys. Day two in the books. Elk hunting was slow. We got on one bugling bull this morning, and typical elk. He bugled, 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 then shut his mouth and left. We think he had cows, and he was just following his cows, and they were headed out to go bed. So it is what it is. Elk hunting can be tough because it's highs and lows. We say it all the time, roller coaster ride. Bull bugles, you're all the way up here. You're like, let's go kill that thing. You get in close, and he just shuts up. You just got to keep after it, keep trying. The more numbers that we produce with bulls bugling, bulls coming in, we'll get one killed. So tomorrow's a new day, just setting camp up. Um, we're gonna head into a new area tomorrow, just hike from here and hunt our way there, but I think it's gonna be better. I think there, there was more elk activity there when we came through it yesterday, so we're gonna head back to it. But guys, as always, thank you so much for following along. Uh, this season started out a little slow, like some in the past, but we show it how it is. We don't just show the kills, uh, we show everything because i think more of you guys can relate to that anyways great group of guys we're having a blast seeing some new country caught some fish everything's going swimmingly we will see you guys back tomorrow guys uh welcome welcome to colorado elk camp um you've been watching the crew casey and logan so far with born and raised and lake fork guy traipsing around mountains of colorado i was tasked with um, running transportation for the other half of Born and Raised. So I've got Trev here. Hey guys. And uh, Steve Reno back here. I'd just like to show you what we're working with because I heard that hunting was slow today. And so I'd like to bring you up to speed on what we're working with. <laughs> Trev, help me, help me understand, I don't understand exactly why. what is going on. Guys, This none of this is mine for the record. Um, this is all Steve and Trevor stuff. And we're not even close to being packed. Well, we are going on uh, a little backpacking excursion now, and then we're gonna do some truck camping, I, I foresee later in New Mexico. So we had to kind of pack double, um, and I'm an overpacker <laughs> a little tiny bit. And so <laughs> I have packed, this is stuff to put in my Colorado pack 2020. If you guys would like, you can, you can scroll down that. There's some really good stuff. <laughs> can we put stuff. a link to download? <laughs> I'm actually not even sure what's on this. <laughs> Trip, that doesn't look like your handwriting. What I'm really concerned about is the need part I forgot to follow up on. What, what are we still missing? <laughs> okay, I got batteries. Triple got A batteries. Tape, I got a headlamp. I got game bags, cow call, radio, rangefinder, DeLorme. I'm good. We got this, guys. You made it. Oh wait, and there's a backside. There's a backside. Uh, so, here's here here's basically the absolute yard sale we're dealing with. Well, this tote is my extra tote 2020. <laughs> okay, this isn't my handwriting. <laughs> my wife does all this. Oh, she helps. <laughs> wait, what? Me. My wife does all this for me. She helps me a lot. <laughs> so your wife packed all of this for you. Well, I which, I mean, there is there are some unnecessary things in here. I will tell you exactly what happened. This was an absolute disaster. <laughs> we poured all of these totes out on my kitchen floor at home, and then we went itemized one by one, and we put it in either the pack tote or the extra tote. And then we wrote it down on a, and by we, she wrote it down on a list. <laughs> and now I know exactly what's in here, so if you touch anything in here, I'll kill you. <laughs> So that's that's what Trev's working with. Steve is way more organized and more minimalistic. I like his program. I'm already packed. So I got my food in the, the Yeti. All I gotta do is put it in my pack and we're gonna be pretty good. Here's potentially part of the challenge is um, it was 90 degrees today in town and it's supposed to snow on Monday. So we're not exactly sure what we wanna pack from like a clothing standpoint. Could be a lot of snow. It could be a lot of snow up here, or pretty high elevation. So we're trying to kind of go into this somewhat prepared, but the chances of us getting to Casey and Logan and Trent and the rest of the crew by noon tomorrow are not looking great just because of what you just witnessed right here. I think I'm gonna have to repack this pack. We stopped five times on the way here um, to try to find Trev some 
Crocs for that camp. That wasn't entirely my fault. I was well, misled. There was Steve? Crocs. What else? What, what else was he trying to? Find? Crocs was the main thing. We were trying to find a Chipotle's, which Chipotle, there wasn't. Yeah. So that took like an hour. It was tre basically Trev's kind of a liability, is what we're getting at here, guys. <laughs> that could have happened to anybody. Anyways, at some point in time, we're we're gonna connect. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna call some elk in. We might get snowed in. Uh, we might have to build igloos. I don't really know what's going to happen, but I know one thing. We're back with our brothers, the Born and Raised crew. If you haven't already, make sure you go subscribe to their channel. Check out Land of the Free, which will be coming out in the very short future. And uh, go support them because we love them. They're our best friends, and we're excited to be back in the woods with them. Um, i thinking we might need to do a, like a yard sale at the end. Like a legit, like, I should probably sell some stuff. <laughs> Please. <laughs>